Hey there, welcome to the second lesson of this course, in which we are going to learn a little bit more about tarot and what it consists of. So, the tarot consists of a series of cards that are used to fortune telling or the interpretation of feelings, dreams or counsels of the person who goes to tarot telling. The tarot readers normally interpret these cards to predict the future of the person who goes to them. These cards you are seeing he here are part of the Tarot of Marseille. It's one of the most famous tarots. As you can notice, the images look like middle age style and the colors in them are linked to the spiritual symbology of each arcana. The deck is composed of 78 cards, divided into major and minor arcana. Now we are going to talk about the major arcana, which are the ones that we are interested in to interpret our cards. This one is the crazy arcana, it's the one who knows his path and doesn't care about conventionalism. The magician represents someone who has all the possibility at his fingertips and the absolute power. The High Priestess represents the person who keeps secrets and doesn't tell everything she knows. The Empress symbolizes the harmony between all the bodies. She embodies femininity and sensuality. Then, the Emperor, by contrast, represents the earthly things and the material goods. The Pope symbolizes destiny and all the spiritual laws. The lovers can symbolize love or the need for choice making. The chariot expresses movement either internal or external. The justice card talks about everything being possible, even the long term objectives. The hermit represents wisdom and the pursuit of it. Also, he signifies the loneliness or solitude of the person. The Wheel of the Fortune shows us that there is, there is a series of consequences happening quickly in our lives. The Strength card represents fortune, luck and success. Then, the Hanged Man can symbolize the apathy or the indifference we feel with things around us. The death card represents the change. We have to leave the old things to let the new flourish. The temperance represents the self-control, control and the self-restraint in us. The devil card represents the human patience or the basic instincts. The tower, which is collapsing, means that we need to build new patterns. The start card means success, happiness, harmony and plenitude. The moon indicates that we need to overcome fears in order to come to the surface. The sun, like the moon, represents success, happiness, harmony and plenitude. Then, the judgment tells us about the importance of thinking of changes and renewing something in our lives. Lastly, the world represents the success, the plenitude and the price that life offers us. Now that you know the meaning of the Tarot Mayor Arcana, these are some examples of them made by other artists who had been inspired by the Tarot of Marseille, but with their own styles. As you can see here, some of them are really different from the original version and they use their own style. Uh, sometimes they are completely different. In our case, however, we're going to use this Tarot of Marseille as a guide to use the same graphic style. Well, now that you know the basis of it, you can start the representation of the cards in your own style. In the next lesson, we'll have a look at the different ideas to represent the cards. We'll try to give a comic twist to the cards to make them more original. Guys, hope that you liked it and learned more about the tarot. See you in the next lesson. Bye!